welcome to another episode of My Car Story. We're here at Rosemont, Illinois at the Muscle Car and Corvette National, and uh, it has the greatest cars, greatest muscle cars, period, in the United States. Come out to the show. And I'm here with Rico. Rico, what's your last name? Petrini. Petrini. Thank you, Dan, for that. And uh, Rico, just to prove our point, step back here with me. What did you bring here today? Come on back. A 1964 Plymouth Belvedere Superstock. Plymouth Belvedere Superstock. Okay. So you don't see this at all. Why is that? Well, they only made 35 That's original cars, and, and there's so <laughs> few of them now, and the, the numbers vary, but I've heard somewhere between five and seven. Wow. So we've got an original 64 Hemi here with us today. So let's get a shot of the overall side of the car. Come with me. How did, uh, how did you end up, Rico, how did you end up getting yourself a 64 Hemi of all things? Well, a friend of mine passed away what was in his name? Jim Bazzetti, and he passed away in 1998. And I, I said I was going to do a car to, uh, to celebrate his life. And I went looking for a 64, and this thing showed up on the screen, and, and, and there it went. And you were sharing, you weren't really sure what you had at first. No, exactly. I, had, I, I knew it was something special, but I did not know how rare it actually was. So, so rare that here at the Muscle Car for obvious reasons, because <laughs> it's pretty neat. Let's move right over here so we can get a shot. It's a long car, and I don't have the luxury to get a full shot of the side of the car, but uh, that hood scoop obviously came standard. Yes, it's an aluminum scoop. Wow. The, the, the lightweight cars came with aluminum front end and lightweight doors and bumpers and such. And these cars were basically all steel cars, and the only lightweight component was the scoop. Wow. Well, let me try to get another shot from this side. Maybe I can get a little more of the length of the car, so people can kind of take that in. Let's, uh, let's open the, uh, we're going to actually open the trunk to start with, because the trunk of this car, go ahead. We're going to open the trunk because uh, you've got a lot of interesting information in your trunk. So we can, so this is your car in the magazines, obviously. It's, it's been in a number of publications. Uh, I think three books and a couple, three or four magazines, uh, and such. So, uh, you know, you, you purchased the car. How were you feeling? I mean, were you excited? I mean, a lot of people look, look at the underneath the exhaust, and that's tell us about that. Those are factory correct uh, 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 super stock exhausts, which wow. are which are rarer than rare. Those that exhaust system took me over two years to find that. It really? was very difficult. Because it was gone from the car when I when I purchased it. So that was one of the original difficult parts. Oh yes. And I'm just gonna flip to the front so people can see some of the books, etc. That's, that's it there. When I got it, it was in black, and it was it had some issues. That's its sister right here. That's the only known existing Dodge hardtop. That that that's rare and rare. Interesting. Well, let's focus. Continue. We'll shut that the, the trunk. Go to the interior. An original Hemi car. Okay. We have the bench seat and check out the automatic. So when you're driving this and you're driving with a Hemi, I mean, are you just pushing buttons or just keep it in driver? Yes, they were a manual shift. Uh, and you, you are pushing buttons. There was there was no reverse on these, no reverse lockout on these, or essentially no park. And it's and these this and you can see the old, the regular cars. The the uh, first would be below. These are reversed because they did not want the racers going into drive and missing and hitting neutral. Oh boy! So everything was down. So they reversed them. That's one of the oddballs about this car. One of the little little tiny things that uh, are different. You can see the. Plymouth there in the steering Basically, wheel. Basically, they're just a pretty stock, uh, pretty stock B body with Belvedere. Uh, yeah. Um, is this the heater, the on-off, the cool, the the off? These they're buttons here. They're radio. Uh, basically, what, radio. What is, what is this? The on, oh, those those are for uh, the heater? a heater fan, but the, okay. it's non-existent essentially. Gotcha. All right, and and obviously no radio. Radio radio heater delete. 
So this is just a pure drag, lightweight, amazing. This, is, this car would be, if you went to pick it up at the dealership or at the factory, it would be as delivered. Wow. And it actually has really wonderful, wonderful feeling. Those are the original door panels. We SMS did the, the recovery, but, but essentially these are the original panels that came with the car. Well, let's take a look in 64 of the original Hemi. Ram, distributor, everything were pretty much native to these cars. That is, that is actually the original sticker that was in the glove box of the car. And, I, and when we refinished, we, we wanted to keep that and put it, I put it out on the air cleaner. Just so, so it's there. That actually was in the car. Pretty cool. Let me get the badge. Side there. That's pretty cool. And actually, there's lots of room in this engine bay. It's such a big engine. So let's shut the lights down right next to your car. Rico, thanks for being on my car store. Thank you, I appreciate it.